Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. I have to admit, I love meat. Don't get me wrong. I also enjoy fish and seafood. One of my favorite proteins when it comes to meat is chicken. I find it very versatile. There are so many dishes we can create with chicken. No wonder the worldwide consumption of this protein is so high. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my chicken cordon bleu. This recipe is so delicious. The melted cheese with thin slices of ham wrapped in a butterfly the chicken breast makes this dish very elegant and scrumptious. This is a meal you can easily serve anytime for any occasion. So my friends, let's get cooking! All right, the first thing we have to do is to butterfly the chicken breast. So we'll have to cut it slightly in the middle to widen it out. Not too much, just enough to make the breast flatter so it's easier to pound evenly. See, just like this. Then we'll place a plastic sheet over and pound the chicken breast with a meat tenderizer to about a quarter inch thick. Don't go too thin. Also, we want to flatten it as even as possible, alright? Next, we'll spoon some Dijon mustard and spread it out thinly over the chicken breast to cover the entire surface. I didn't put any measurement on the blog in regards of the mustard because it all depends on how big and wide your chicken breast is. But as long as you don't put too much, we just want a thin layer. We'll season with freshly ground black pepper and if you want, go ahead and sprinkle some salt as well. So now we'll place a couple thin slices of black forest ham to cover the entire breast. You can always substitute with prosciutto di parma. Then next, we'll place the cheese slices on top of the ham, trying to cover most of the surface again. So now what we have to do is to tuck in the ends from the outside and then as tight as you can, roll it up so it forms a roll. It's not obvious, but try to hold it pretty snug. Then we'll keep it in place by using toothpicks. Use as many as you want because when it's time to serve, we'll remove them all. And also we really want to keep all the yumminess inside the roulades when it's cooking, right? Next, we'll prep the breading. So in a small bowl, we'll combine flour with smoked paprika. We'll stir and set aside. Now in a shallow dish, we'll beat an egg and then in another shallow dish, We'll combine panko, herbe de Provence, which is a beautiful mixture of herbs from France, garlic salt, and melted butter. We'll stir the ingredients until the mixture is evenly moist. Kind of look like damn sand, alright? Now we're ready to go with our breading process. Using a small sieve, we'll sprinkle the flour mixture by gently tapping on the side until the chicken breasts are well coated turning the pieces as we go. Now we'll dip the chicken in a beaten egg until very well coated, then transfer into the panko mixture, making sure the entire piece of chicken is covered with the panko. You may want to gently press on it so the mixture adheres better. We want our chicken nice and crispy outside when cooking it. Then we'll place the coated chicken in a plate and set aside for now. Next, in an oven-proof skillet over medium-high heat, we'll add oil. When the oil is hot and starts to shimmer, we'll place the chicken roulades in it and cook until golden brown, turning on each side, including the ends. That should take not more than three minutes. We just want some crispiness on the outside, which also helps seal so the cheese stays in. So now we'll transfer the skillet in a 350 degree preheated oven and cook for 30 to 40 minutes or until the internal temperature reads 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And my friends, this is our chicken cordon bleu. This amazingly tasty recipe is incredibly easy to make. The cheese oozing out with the salty taste from the ham along with the zip from the Dijon mustard 
and a hint of smoky flavor from the paprika makes this dish very elegant and sure to impress your guests. With these few added ingredients from the traditional recipe, this one is a winner. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit CuffFoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!